We ain't moving back to our area, so we gotta close up the hatch up there. Yeah, yeah, that's not that bad. No. We cut out a piece of cardboard the size of our uh, generator out there. Get an idea of where we want to mount it. The VMAC goes from this area, so hey. Yeah, yeah that's doable. <laughs> Tony noticed we had a trailer sitting back here. Nice solution for moving our generator. And this is Harold. Oh, Harold's upset. Harold, don't be like that, man. I have hard ants in the bushes here in Columbia instead of Boston for seasonal, so yeah. Okay, we grind that end off so that it can fit up into the corner here because this corner on the angle iron is a little rounded, so that lets you get a nice flush fit. Nicely done. Tony put in a cross brace there and got the center of gravity uh, set. Then just a couple of bolts to hold it in place so we can take it off so we can get the head of the engine off and a little more maintenance because the engine is locked into this frame. Tony's out here working early. Morning. Morning. Eight inches. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, eight tall. Yeah. I think we we drop it down to the next size down. Okay. We don't need a battery. This is yeah. No, that's just overkill. Let's figure out. Actually, it's best if it if it has some play. So yeah. I'm going to put an old car battery in. That's yeah. what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the junkyard and get one. Like a like a bolt through here and there, and then if we do want to put a bigger battery in, we take the holes out, drill new holes, and yeah. Pop it. lifting lug for bringing it in and out of the cargo hold or the uh, the engine room because the hatch is small you can't take something this long so we just drop it down like that and then the one on top once we get it down inside we can lift it up on that one beautiful look at that We got a crack into the generator there. Been dropped obviously before the bolts bent. So I think we could take a. I think we run a little weld across it, grind it down. I want to weld aluminum. There you go. You want to weld aluminum? There's a the job for you. I'll set it up. See that gap in there would be nice for the weld. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. That's my neighbor doing it right. Teach him young. There it is. The Tony. Can we go, you make drill these? Uh, sure. Okay. 
Did you guys find the bolts? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. What? Oh, it's got a little safety switch in the bottom of it. On the bottom of the bag? On the bottom of the bag. Yeah. It's, 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 in, it's in some kind of recess that it can't get pressed. See the lights red? Oh. Red light, no go. Oh. So that's the whole deal. Look at that little switch there. I'd clean this crap off the bottom. I think that's what the skipping was. Just a little too much green junk. No, I'm never going to have enough room to turn the knobs. Well, you can switch the handle to the other side. Oh. Problem is, there's a dimple in the wall, and that switch is right in that dimple. <laughs> yeah, we can do power plug. That would work all right. There you go. Nice. Studious in this. Hour on that rotisserie running piece, not one piece of metal in me yesterday. The battery's in groups, and we're picking a width or a length rather that will fit a lot of them. You know where it's at? Yeah, it's in the cargo hold somewhere. Cordless porta band? Oh. Oh, for the porta band? So oh, cordless port band. Cordless. I don't like cordless that much. I, Dude, um, I, it's always that battery dies right no, at the end. Because you don't have new stuff. This yeah, I do this, have new stuff. I like this air pistol. I've never seen a dollar dollar fifty at Harbor Freight. Yeah, yeah, they're great. Brian, I know how to use shackles. Trust me. I'm sorry. It just took me a second. <laughs> Damn, Doug, don't feed me breakfast. I can't think right. <laughs> don't let it fall out of the bag. Once it gets going, it'll go until it's all out. Yeah, no, that's where we're at. Cool. We're stuffing it back in the bag like a hemorrhoid. That's it. Like a hemorrhoid. You want a bigger hammer? No, I got a big enough hammer. I suck. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm, I'm in a terrible physical altercation with myself. <laughs> well, you look good though now. Yeah, I don't see blood pouring out anymore. I don't know, that's a shirt. I got a band aid on. Dave, what you doing? <laughs> uh, I don't want to see it. I'm just, I'm just bullshit. Oh, okay. putting in the exhaust system in while the engine was kind of cockeyed. So we're decocking the engine. It's going to be a girl engine now. I guess most of the time we blame somebody waiting here. We blamed uh, Chris on a bunch of shit. Chris keeps blaming for all kinds of Chris hadn't been here for over a year until yeah. just recently, you know. And then he came back to visit. And shit, we didn't blame him nothing on him. But it's unfair. It's like, I don't think so, man. 
fuck when I leave. After he left, oh. everything was his fault. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you did break that tap. You know? I didn't break shit. <laughs> and you cut the right. Fucking speed square in half. That was, that oh, was, yeah. I think he did that on purpose. I think he did that on purpose. I think he did that on purpose. That was Tony. That was Tony. Pull that thing up right for me, Mike. That's not a California plane, though. Uh, Awesome. She's not going to look at it at all. She's going to just upload it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, they're going to kick me out that, of YouTube. That would be a problem. What? So you really feel being taken a piss? You did that, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Somebody out there in YouTube land actually gave us this idea. It's going to work out really well. We're just putting two pad eyes in. You work with two uh, come alongs then. You can lift the load up, move it sideways, and set it down. No big deal. Uh, I think I need a little more part before it can pull it this way. Right. That's going to put a lot of strain on that there. That's what. Because it'll give me a little more room on these valves. Yeah. And we make it happen. Yeah, the oil changes on your side, but even over here, the turbo is completely exposed. Yeah, the alternator. Drain plug, the drain plug's right there. That's the transmission What's fill. That? There's plenty of room to work in there. There's an oil dipstick right there. Yeah. And you can still reach the injectors, the pump, the fuel, the yeah. filters, the starter. Oil filter. Yeah. For the transmission. I love it. And the, oh, and the other thing everybody has, needs to remember is our deck comes up. We can pull these boards out and get down there easy. I love it. Yeah, that's good. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. I should pull it. Bar's fault. <laughs> Don't put it in, dude. Uh, we put the I engine in backwards, all right? The out. exhaust is on this side. It's supposed to be over there, so we're going to cheat and use the crane to flip it around. We know we can do it with the other stuff. That takes longer. 74% humidity, which it says it will work at 75. <laughs> they don't really mean that. I got a glue stick in my bag. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, hey, that's good. There we go, put it in the right way this time, which makes more sense because there's a control box. There'll be another control panel here for running the engine. And then another one that's an automated one will actually do something cool. If the uh, engine loses oil pressure, it automatically shuts it off. And Brian and Mike are out tomorrow. Bristol Motorsports, if you want to go look at his uh, YouTube channel, built an excellent big wheel for his kid. And thank you to the Briscoe family, Cody, Jackson, and Amy, thanks for lending Dad out.